In this video, we're talking about astral projection sex or OBE sex. Now, this is a very different experience to lucid dream sex, and I want to make it very clear that there are some things you need to be sort of careful about. You can't just jump into this and expect it to be exactly the same as a lucid dreaming sex uh, experience because it's very different. There are some things to, to consider before you jump in. So astral projection sex is, can be considered to be an energy exchange between you and an energetic body, whoever or whatever that might be. It's a very different experience and there are a few reasons for that. So in general and in waking life sex, you know, uh, it's all about essentially exchanging energy between you and another person so at least it should be and so in the astral projection world in the astral plane it's even more about that energetic exchange so you might not actually see what's going on all the time it might just be like you kind of have some idea of what's going on or you feel the experience or you sense the energy exchange as opposed to physically seeing and feeling something physically i know this is kind of hard to imagine especially if you've not experienced it at all and especially if you've never had lucid dream sex as well it's kind of hard to to imagine how this would actually feel but just stick with me here for, for a sec so in, in a lucid dream when you have sex with a dream character your expectation is a very big part of that you sort of expect what's going to happen and then it usually does happen with the astral realm it's a bit different because your expectation doesn't have that much power it still has power but it's not as direct as when you're in a lucid dream so things can happen that you didn't expect and so for that reason, you need to kind of be a bit careful about what your intention is and why you want to do this, have this experience in the first place. Now, it's not for everybody, but here's how it can be described in the most simple terms possible, okay? Imagine just a blissful energetic experience and an exchange between two entities or energetic bodies. Now, this is not really about the same sort of physical way we would have sex in waking life or even in a lucid dream. This is more about you coming and becoming one energy field with someone or something else. So this is very much about energy. And so should normal sex be actually as well. But this is very much in the astral realm about an exchanging and a merging of energies. And so what that will feel like is a sort of euphoric bliss sense sort of feeling that travels through your entire astral and energetic body. You might feel tingling, a sense of connection and oneness, and a sense that you are now part of the energy that you have been exchanging with the other entity. And there's a few reasons why you might want to do that. Firstly, it feels really good. It's a very euphoric, blissful feeling, and that sort of that feeling can then stay with you and continue with you throughout, you know, when you come back to this 3D dense reality. Uh, when you leave the astral realm so there's a few reasons you might want to do that it can also help you release trauma emotional wounds and blocks and things like that however for the same reason that it can be good for you it can also be dangerous if you're doing this with the wrong person or entity if you're exchanging energies remember this is your energetic body we're talking about if you're exchanging energies with pretty much anyone and anything then you're going to be giving away your power to other people or absorbing and taking on their negative energy or their you know negative traits so and just like in in waking life as well by the way whenever you have sex with someone you do share and exchange energy in good or bad forms so you really need to be careful <laughs> essentially who or what you're choosing to have this experience with in the astral realm before you start doing this consider that before you go into this so like just set your intention decide on what you want to do and why and be very clear about that and remember in the astral realm you're almost entirely navigating using your intuition your senses are not as relevant in the astral realm so it's less about what you see and know and more about just what you feel and intuitively know within yourself for that reason let's say if you go into the experience and you start feeling weird about a particular aspect of it you need to set your intention somewhere else like i've said in other videos your intention and your expectation will sort of guide where you go so let's say if you enter the astral plane you decide that you want to have astral sex with uh, let's say this this entity here you start coming together and you're about to exchange the energies however you get this kind of weird feeling a weird vibe something's not quite right you should really listen to that and pay attention to that that feeling and that sort of knowing within yourself at that moment leave the situation and change your intention change your focus to somewhere else and you'll find that you'll pretty quickly you'll go to that other place the other entity will sort of vanish or disappear and you will go somewhere else where you're safe 
and where you're not going to have that weird feeling because it's all based on your intuition you need to feel essentially before you know and by the way you can actually transfer that advice or that knowledge to waking life if you follow your intuition more in waking life you will have a very accurate connection with your higher self with higher beings and with your purpose as well because your intuition in many cases knows much more than your brain ever can because it's just more powerful it's connected to a higher source of information now should you have astral sex every time in my opinion, no, you shouldn't. And just like in a lucid dream, if you have astral sex every time you <laughs> you get into the astral realm, you're gonna be just wasting your time because there are so many other things you could be doing. I know it's tempting and you know it's attractive to just wanna do that sort of thing all the time. And yes, when you first start astral projecting, maybe you should experiment with that, yes. However, once you become better at it, you're gonna wanna try other things. You're gonna wanna experiment and try more profound, meaningful, experiences in the astral realm and in lucid dreams it kind of goes both ways as well and just like in waking life remember when you have sex or a, a sexual exchange with somebody you're giving your energy to them and taking their energy into you so you need to basically be picky about who and what you decide to do or have that exchange with 